Well, it sounds like it should be out of the X-Files, but a secret study of UFOs has been traced back to the Pentagon. Alex Dimitrik reports on some of the first images to be released. In movies, pilots have been seeing UFOs for decades. That was really close. Or at least it was in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, where it took special effects to see UFOs. But now, there's this. It's rotating. It's among the footage collected by military pilots in a secret project studying UFO sightings. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. In 2004, two Navy jets spotted this school bus sized object off the California coast. It's not a drone. Uh, it's not something that we can easily say, oh, that's an airplane. Run out of the Pentagon, Luis Elzando was in charge of the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program. It operated in secret from 2007 until 2012 with $22 million a year in secret funding. Some, but not all of its work was declassified, but not exactly explained. What we are looking at is truly beyond next generation technologies. But is it a spacecraft from another world? Most sightings prove otherwise. The bright object that streaked over Buenos Aires in 2015 was a large meteor. And the strange glow in the sky over Los Angeles turned out to be a missile test. The Pentagon study didn't focus on civilian reports, but relied on members of the military, and may still be doing so even though the secret program officially ended five years ago. I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. In a statement from the Pentagon, other projects had higher priority for funding than the secret UFO study. Till they land, then we'll be studying them like crazy. <laughs> Breaking news, right? right? There you go. <laughs>